everybody. How are you doing this evening? My name is Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In this video I'm doing a live walkthrough of how I research and list an item on Etsy and basically what I'll do at that point when it's done being listed on Etsy is I copy and paste everything over um, onto eBay. There is not a program that does it automatically for you. Believe me, whoever wrote that program would make a lot of money because I know I would use it. So if you are watching um, now, say hey in the chat. I am live. If you're watching later, leave a comment down below and let me know You know if you're selling on Etsy, if you find this kind of video helpful um, because I'm happy to do this kind of video. I, I've done these in the past. I haven't done one in a while, but I thought I would come on and say hey and and just do a walkthrough of it because, because, <laughs> right? Um, hello in the chat. Hello, Flippin' Hustler and Tina. Hi, Creative Buzz and Nancy. Hello, D. Oh, I'm going to say it. D. Okay, hi, Jan. How's it going? Um, I am having a really good Thursday. We've had, we did school this morning and then we went to lunch and we took my son. I know this is off topic. We went, to, my younger son has never been to one of those spirit like Halloween stores. So we did a, a ride along of his first experience in this in the spirit Halloween store, which was really scary. He gets scared really easily too, so that was good fun. <laughs> okay. So let's jump into this. Uh, as right now, as of right now, anyway, I am planning on just sharing one item that I'm going to walk through the process with you. Um, and it's these cufflinks. And <laughs> okay, DD, thanks. So um I, I sell a lot of jewelry online. I sell some other things and I used to sell a lot of other different things, but since I am I moved and I've kind of had to downsize things because of we started homeschooling stuff, it, it selling jewelry has been the easiest thing for me. And my gateway drug, gateway jewelry into jewelry was men's accessories. So I still love selling men's accessories a lot. Um, and so we're gonna take a look at these cuff links. Let me make it bigger so you can see it a little better. You know what I could have done? Hang on. Let me see if I can make it bigger over here. I thought I was prepared. Okay. Can you see it better now? There we go. Now you can see it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so so mostly these things will apply to eBay as well. You know, as far as creating titles and descriptions, because I basically just copy it straight over to eBay. Um, so these are some pictures that I took of some cuff links and they are vintage. They, so the first thing I do, I guess I should say, when I am looking at something that I'm going to list is I use my powers of observation and I just say to myself, if I were looking for these, what would I say? Well, I would say one, they're gold tone. I would say that they are wrapped. They have this chain that wraps around, pardon me. <laughs> um, and then the stone in them is very specific. So I'll talk about that in a second. Um, and then also I look for a maker's mark, like a brand. So like, the, you know, the who, what, where, when, why, and how kind of deal of it, right? Your five W's. So these are swank. So knowing that they're swank, gold tone, wrap, cufflinks, that's a huge start on to um, creating a title for my piece, right? So, uh, personally, I like, well, I like them both, but Etsy, technically, I like Etsy better. I'm reading in the chat, sorry. Um, okay, so that's where I start, generally. Um, and then I, I do personally know the name of the stone, but I was going to talk to you about, like, if you don't, like, let's say you come across this kind of thing, and you're like, this is a really unusual stone. I don't know what this is called. Uh, one place you can look, well, is the internet, but another place that you can look uh, or ask is we have a jewelry group on Facebook called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, which you can go and join and drop a picture in and say, hey guys, what do you call this? Uh, but this is actually a stone called a rivoli, which means it's got a very special way it's formed. You know, it points out and it points the other way, and there are different colors of rivoli which I will show you. Now another thing to do would, if you didn't, we weren't on Facebook, let's say, then I would just start typing in what you see into the Google search, like swank, because they use this kind of stone quite a bit, swank, um, multicolor stone, pointy, you know, and then eventually you'll start seeing like, oh, whoa, whoa, and you'll find other ones that are similar to it so that you can um, do that, so you can see the keywords, right? 
Okay, so let me send this back so we can take a look at my store. I get this question a lot too. What's my store called? My store is called Texas Gal Treasures. I am Texas Gal Treasures everywhere. So this is my shop. Hang on, I've got a bunch of windows open. There we go. Hello, hello. Um, <laughs> so here we go. So if I am going to create a new listing, if you're on Etsy, hang on, let me get, I need to switch over to my uh, dashboard and I don't remember if there's any pertinent information that needs to be hidden, you know, like address and things like that. Um, <laughs> so let me get to listings. Cause I don't, yeah, I didn't preview behind the scenes first. All right, so I'm gonna go to add a listing and I'll switch back over, here we go. So this is what it looks like when you add a listing on Etsy. Let me scooch it because you don't need to see that part. You just need to see this part. All right, and now Etsy is awesome because they used to only allow five photos. Now you can do 10. I think eBay is 12. So I try to fill up as much as I can. Uh, wrap Rivoli. Let's see if I've got them all. If I can use them all. I think I can. Oh, I can only do 10. Ah, I've got too many. So I try to take a peek at the ones that are going to show. Like these two are very similar, right? So I'm not going to do both of those. How many do I have here, just out of curiosity? Select all, and let's see. Oh, it's not letting me. Okay, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. All right, that means I gotta narrow down three. Okay, I need you, I need you. I kinda need you, maybe. I like you. See, I wanna get a, a shot of all the different angles. Okay, so those are two similar-ish ones. I like that. I like that. I want to show all the possible good angles anyway. Okay, let's get down to this one. Open those up. <laughs> right, Dan, yeah, what would we do without Google? Uh, right now, Joe, I don't do that many because I'm still just kind of getting back in the swing of things. But I would try to aim for 10 to 20 um, when I was really, you know, listing more. Let's see, do I have, did I grab too many? Okay, good. All right, so, yeah, and, and, but, you know, like I say, I'm homeschooling now, and so I just do what I can do, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's, it's really easy to start getting down on yourself when you compare yourself to other resellers, because some, like, do, like, 20 listings a day and other things like that, so I, I just had to stop giving myself that, that grief. Anyway, so, okay. So here we go. So when I take a look at these pictures, I try to make sure that I've chosen the one that highlights my item in the best possible light. And I think this is probably going to be the one I use uh, for the first picture. So while this is loading up, the first thing I do on my title is I will come through and start typing in, hang on, can y'all see my drop down? No, it's not dropping down for you guys. Um, just like I said before, like, what do I see? So um, swank, gold tone, wrap, and I, I, it's called a Rivoli, is the kind of stone I told you, Rivoli wrap cufflinks, ah, cufflinks, Re, did I spell Rivoli wrong? I don't think so, okay, so, but I know that I'm going to want to do more than that, one, that the color of this Rivoli needs to be described, and then two, there's other things I can put in here. I do ship worldwide, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> thanks Joe. And I did get your email, I need to email you back. Or did I email you back? I did, and now I need to send you the invoice, oh my. Okay, <laughs> so here's what I do. First, I think to myself, did I ever sell anything like this before? Because I don't wanna reinvent the wheel. And I have sold something similar to this before, um, so I have sold these cufflinks, which are similar, but they are a different color. They're green rather than this red, um, and they're still Rivoli, but this is pretty early on, so I didn't take advantage of my full title, so vintage 1960s watermelon green Rivoli gold tone mesh, so there's a word I didn't put in there, mesh wraparound cufflinks. So I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to put... Um, red because let's say somebody else doesn't know what this actual color Rivoli is called they might just call it red um red Rivoli eh, I think I'm spelling Rivoli right it keeps telling me I'm not am I not let's see Rivoli okay no we're fine hello hello um how are you doing Lydia um red Rivoli what did I say on the other one mesh what did I call it 
mesh wrap, mesh wrap around. So mesh wrap around um, cuff. And here I'm going to put cufflink separately because sometimes people set, spell it together and sometimes people sell it separately. Um, spell it separately. Also, I get a lot of questions about repeating words on Etsy in my title and I generally do one because you get like a million characters on Etsy and sometimes I can't think of that many more things to write. I do the best I can. Um, on eBay you get quite a, your, the, the length of your title is smaller. So when I do copy and paste my title over to eBay, I like to have my Etsy one written out first because then I have a bazillion words and keywords to choose from and then I just knock out words that are repetitive or maybe not as useful, right? Um, so, like I'm seeing over here, again, too many tabs, I didn't take full advantage of my um, title because when this was listed it was a while back. So vintage, I don't necessarily put, even put vintage unless I've run out of ideas. 60s, I might could go in there and put 60s if I don't find, any, find anything else. And then here's another one that I listed a while back that sold, and this was a ring, so it was not uh, cufflinks, but might still have some cool keywords. Whiting and Davis, no, nope. watermelon and bully ring, Whiting Davis, adjustable flower cocktail. This is that one of those that was like an adjustable ring that sold that people were like, adjustable rings don't sell. Well, sometimes they do. Okay. So did I come up with anything else from my listings so far? No, I might do, you know, 60s, 1960s, uh, retro cufflinks, but I might take that out because look, now I still, can you see that? I have 30 something characters still left. So what I do next, I know I still need to find out the name of this stone which I'll show you how I did that in a second. And then what I do, okay, that's mine, that's mine, is I go in and I just do a Google search like this, Swank Red Rivoli Cufflinks. Okay, once I figure out that they're called Rivoli, then you go in there, uh oh, I'm grabbing the wrong thing. And then I just do like a Google search and I click on images, hang on. Ah, I had this all like squared away and now it's being weird. There, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Do you get more sales off Amazon? Um, lately, it's been Etsy that's been selling the most for me. Um, I think I've gotten, since I've turned my shops back on, I think I've gotten one sale on eBay and three or four. It hasn't been a ton because I haven't been listing very much or at all, really. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> there's that. So, so far, it's, it's Etsy. So, here's what I do. I'll come in, type this in, and then I click on Images, and then I just kind of scroll down and I look for ones that look similar to what I've got. So, hey, Heather, how's it going? Um, so, like, these are one that are similar. These are similar, even though they're, they're not the same color. I might still grab that because I might find some other good keywords. But this is how I go through and look for keywords. Swank, wrap on, uh, See, some of these, I, they pulled up, I'm guessing they scraped for Rivoli and, or for Swank and Red. But I'm not seeing a ton. These are nice, they're purpley. I'm not seeing a ton of red ones that are just like mine. I'm seeing watermelon. I'm seeing different. But these are kind of like mine. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so then what I do is I come and see what they wrote for them. Gold Tim Wrap Cufflinks Red Rhinestone by Swank. And while I know they're not necessarily rhinestone, that's something that somebody might put in there if they're looking for this, if they don't know. Um... Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it might be now, but the order of the words Dan is asking for, um, Swank, Gold, Tone, Rivoli. I try, what I try to do with my first, like, section of keywords is, like, type in, like, just the facts, ma'am. And then, <laughs> oh, right, okay. Um, and then from there, I, I don't know. I mean, I could probably drive myself nuts trying to figure out what will come first. I think it needs to be like where it, where it sounds normal when I read it. Because if I put like cufflinks, rap, rivoli, gold tone swank, you know, it might sound, I don't know. I think it needs to sound like a normal thing, maybe. Bye, Heather. Enjoy. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll go hit Taco Deli tomorrow for you. Okay, um, so where was I? Okay. So I'm keeping in mind maybe rhinestone, but I really don't want to have to use that keyword. Maybe in my tags I will. We'll see. Okay, so these are vintage swank topaz peridot rivoli crystals men's jewelry. So men's accessory might be a good keyword if I can't think of anything else too. Uh, wrap around rivoli watermelon rhinestone. Okay. Um, See, these ones, they, they called them watermelon as well, but they're not technically, I don't think, because I think the watermelon ones are the green ones, like the other ones. Uh, cuff link, see how they separated it out? Cuff link set, mash wrap, okay, tag. So, hello, hello, and again, I'm looking for our more keywords, gold tone, they put as one word, hashtag swank. Okay, so these are, they have started they have started writing what the color is, but I think they misspelled volcano um, because I think that's what I'm going to use for my keyword too when I get there. Gold tone wrap, red rind. Okay, I already did that one. And this, I don't know what's pulling up there. Okay, I'm just seeing the same kind of keywords and stuff. Looking for something different. I thought I had this pulled up. Okay, here we go. So, what I did to find out the color of my Rivoli is I typed in Rivoli Crystal Colors until a, I pulled up a chart that had the colors, you can see, on them, right? So, the one that looks the most like mine is this Crystal Volcano one right here. I'm looking for watermelon on here. I wonder if this, this is kind of like the watermelon one. But maybe it's got a more technical name. So I wonder if I could use watermelon, or does it have to be the green one? I don't know. It's hot in here, y'all. My cheeks are turning red. Um, okay, so Crystal Volcano is the color. And these are Swarovski, Rivoli. I'm looking to see if any of the other ones. Fuchsia, Light Siam. If any of the other ones have a different like name for it. Uh, I don't think it's the Siam one. I don't think anybody on this planet would be searching for Padpara Dash, but maybe they would. Anyway, <laughs> that's always good fun, right? So let's go with that color. Where do we? Oh, wait, here's another one. Light Siam. No, no. Red Magma. Red Magma. Ooh. But I think we'll go with that volcano type color. Where did that go? Oh my gosh. Because it's got that volcanic color. Where'd it go? Crystal volcano. Here we go. Color, color, color. Hi, don't Debbie. <laughs> okay. So um, we're gonna say crystal volcano. Well, should I do red first and then crystal volcano later? Because that's gonna be more volcano Rivoli mesh wraparound cufflinks, 1960s ref retro cufflinks. And I really didn't come up with any other, um, hmm, I got swank in there. Okay, I'm looking again. Wrap around. Now, if you are, if you want to get technical with, oh, Rivoli, okay, cool. The um, type of, there are people that are into, if you watched either of my, um, I did some interviews, one with the Cufflink King, David, and then one with Lynn from the Thai chest, there are names for the backs of the cufflinks, the, this part that uh, you can't see I'm pointing at, but this long, long like bar part. Um, so there, there's ones called bullet, and I believe this one is called a bullet back. There are ones that are like button backs. They have all the, di there's different terminology for the backs of them. Um, men's jewelry, suit and tie. Okay, good, thanks Joe. Okay, so let's let's do that. Let's put in some of that um, bullet back ah. men's accessory. Did you say men's jewelry or men's accessory? I'm gonna go with men's accessory. Maybe I should do men's jewelry because I think Etsy classifies them as men's accessory, so it might already get that in there. Let's go with men's jewelry. Okay, so that leaves me with four. Oh, you can't see that because I have it hidden. Duh. There. Okay. Um, so that left me with like four characters left, so I think I'm good. Oh dear. Ravioli. Well, next time I'll list them as ravioli and see how they sell. How about that? <laughs> um, 
Uh, I would just think of how someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do 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 do. Never found any in the one. Are aren't they? Oh yeah. The the green ones. I think I could have sold them for more than one. These ones here. This was early days. These I ended up selling these for twenty five bucks. And now I'm like, I could have gotten more for these, probably. So, all right, so here we go. Uh, if you're on Etsy, uh, who made it? Another company or person? What is it? It is a finished product. Can y'all see these drop down menus? Hang on, let me see. And then when was it made? It's not showing the drop down on yours. So, this is made before 1999 is vintage, y'all. You know what that means? That next year it's going to say before 2000, which is going to freak me out. Let's just not talk about that right now. Um, so I, I think these are about in the 1960s. So I'm going to go ahead with my 1960s. So category, okay, here we go. So on my category, type a two or three word description of your item. We get suggestions. So I'm going to put in here. This has changed. This is a little bit different because it used to be way more like clicking buttons and stuff. Cufflinks in cufflinks and tie clips. Um, weddings, jewelry, jewelry set, no, 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 cufflinks here, cufflinks here, suit and tie accessories, yeah, here, okay, so then it drops in some other, um, categories, okay, choose the gemstone, so I, it's, it's not any of these, because it is like a crystal, you know, so I'm not going to select anything here, because it's not any of those things. Uh-oh. You had ravioli last night. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, material. It is, is crystal an option on here? No. And as far as, uh, yeah. I mean, I, is metal an option? So, because it's gold tone. So I'm just going to leave that. Primary color is gold. So when I look at it, what's the main color? I see gold. Secondary color, red. Red. There we go. Um, can it be personalized? No, it cannot. Recipient? Oh, gosh. I guess I'll select men, women, unisex, adults, boys, I guess. Uh, no, I'm going to leave boys off. I mean, because if you think about it, women like uh, Marlena Dietrich and all, you know, women wore cufflinks too, so. Uh, you have. Uh, okay, anyway. Are we talking about time we were out for dinner last night? Uh, food. I don't remember. Okay, so what's the style on these? I, I'm going to leave this blank because I, I, none of these. It's not Art Deco, Art Nouveau. Oh, you can't see this. So you get to choose a style, choose a theme. I'm not going to choose a theme like animal, tropical, blah, blah, blah. Occasion or holiday. I'm leaving that out. And then I will automatically renew. Okay, now what I do next <laughs> I am, Dan. Y'all, I'm trying to, this is a very serious video, okay? I'm trying to be very professional here to help people, okay? <laughs> All right, so what I do next is, oh, that's not what I do next. I go to <laughs> a listing and I'll um, just grab, I have like a template that I use sort of. I just grab it and copy and paste it. So I just drag and copy everything. If it will let me. Yeah. Uh, copy. And I come back over here and I paste this in. Now ask me if I've ever forgotten to change something. Yes, I have. So what I do in my description is basically I have kind of a template where I put the name of the item, I'll start with that, then I write a description of the item, then I put the size or any measurements, any condition, and then my inventory note is where I, I this is where I put like when I bought it or when I listed it and what I paid. Um, and so it's like, it, it's sort of a code, but it's not a fancy code, like 13P stands for 13 pence, which we don't use here, so 13 cents is what I paid for the other item, not this one. So it was in a lot. But that way I can remember, like, how much did I, you know, what was my profit here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit more focused. So here we go. So I copy and paste my my title first thing. And then my description. I don't get flowery or write a big fancy story. Um, so I'll put red, 
Rivoli uh, I guess it's gonna be around I guess I could put it round red Rivoli Chris crystal crystal set into gold tone swank wrap around come on wrap around cufflinks the perfect ah vintage addition to your suit there haha all right no flowery language yeah just the facts so size I will come through and hang on, let me pop it back up, and I will look at the and unfortunately, oops, I'm trying to grab the wrong thing. I forgot to take more than one picture of the measurements, so I can kind of estimate because it's round that it's about an inch across there. So I can say Rivoli setting, Rivoli and setting. My P on my computer just keeps running. Approximately, oh thanks, Ali. Approximately one inch in diameter. And then length of mesh wrap. What is it, like two and a half? Appro uh, uh, almost two and a half. Almost. Hmm. 2.5 inches as seen in photos. Photo. Look at my P. My, ooh, my computer. Like it gets stuff stuck in there and then it just, period. Okay. Uh, condition. So here's why I give the condition. Okay, thanks. Yeah, get, hit the thumbs up, everybody. How are we doing? I don't even know how many people are watching. How many friends we got? You got any friends over there? Yay, 30 friends. 34 friends. Okay, so I try to make sure that I get every possible flaw in there. You know, it's like over, over, wait, oh, over promise, and no, no, don't under deliver. Under promise, over deliver. That's what it is. Um, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Somebody... Oh, did they really, Heather? Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> Do you got, you got somebody, uh, you got somebody punking you over there. Okay, so condition, um, overall good condition with minor wear to the gold ah, tone. Finish. Oh, you can't see this. It would help, right? Because you need to see me. You need to see me type, right? This is, but this is what I'm writing. Overall, good condition with minor wear to the gold tone finish, as seen in the, or I could say as seen in the photos, um, or minor wear to the gold tone finish with normal wear, as seen in the photos. Um. <laughs> so there, Heather, take that. Um, can you go back to where we could see you typing? Can you see it now? I think I fixed it. All right. Um, bah, 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 bah. What was I going to say? So then, like, this is my general, like, unless something is really messed up with it, that's kind of my go-to normal wear with normal wear, minor. And, and I'll say it's got minor wear, even if it looks perfect. But now I'm going to come through and really kind of look at it so I can see if I see any like other problems or discoloration or anything like that. <laughs> so, I mean, overall it looks pretty good. There is a, you know, I, that might be a reflection off my phone. And I usually will get up close and personal if I see any flaws in my pictures and I'll take closer, closer up pictures to any flaws that I've got. Okay. I don't have an inventory note here because I don't remember what I paid for that, so I'm going to take that out. 
description size condition. Sometimes I'll put brand in here if it's a specific brand, which is swank. Um, so I just want it to be, okay, you know when you go and buy something, you want it to be really easy for the person to like read and figure out what they're looking for. I'm looking forward, I just want to see what size these are. I can't figure this out from the pictures. I just want to see, you know, is it, what are the, what's the brand again, just to make sure. Okay, so you go through and do that, make it super easy. Um, yeah, I generally only check the photos for the defects, unless it's been a long time since I've taken the pictures. Because usually I'm pretty, um, aggressive <laughs> with my picture taking. I get really in there. Um, and whenever I see flaws, I make sure to take pictures of them um, as I'm taking po photos. I may not always include everything in the listing. I should have chosen one that had more like that. Okay, then I always, um, this is part of my, uh, kind of a template I drop into each listing, you know, for international shoppers, you know, check out my shop, add the shop's favorites, blah, blah, blah. Um, so shop section, I have got one for men's accessories. Can y'all see that? It didn't drop down, did it? Okay, tag. You guys okay? Okay. So tags. This is where what um, you want to type in things that the person will search for. If they're looking, you want them to find your item. So I would put in here swank cufflinks. I would put in here Rivoli cufflinks. Ah, my F's ran away with me. I would put in wrap cufflinks. I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in watermelon Rivoli too, because I saw that used in a couple other ones that looked like mine, but um, uh, watermelon Rivoli. I'm not sure it's going to fit. Nope. Um, watermelon Rivoli. Type of cufflink back. Sometimes those tilting. But this is true, Dan. And I didn't notice that they were loose. So that's a good question. If I need to go back and double check the cufflink backs to make sure that they're, you know, they stay put. They're not like flipping around really. Hmm. That's a good question. I'll have to dig them out and double check that. Okay. But normally I would like make note, of, make note to myself if there's something like that. But that's a good point. Good point. Christmas or holidays? Oh, because they have holiday colors. Yeah, okay. Red. Christmas. I don't think Cufflinks is going to fit to you. You can only get 20 characters in there. Um, how about Christmas Cufflinks? Let's see if that works. Because that's a good one. Christmas Cufflinks. Um, Metro Cufflinks. Search in the... Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to put? Let's look at these. I guess we could say what they are, the Volcano Rivoli Cufflinks. Volcano. Cufflinks. Nope. Volcano Rivoli. Maybe that. Um, how about Volcano Cufflinks? Because then if somebody's like, I want some volcano cufflinks for my geology teacher. And they can't find any. And they find these and like, ooh, they look like volcanoes. Cool. Um, <laughs> you guys are trying to set me off. You know how easily I, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to separate out cufflinks too. Cufflinks. Gold and red cufflinks. Ah. Gold, red, cufflinks. There. I got three more. Gold mesh cufflinks. There we go. Good one. Gold mesh cufflinks. I'm trying to type too fast so my fingers are. There we go. Two more. Two more. Okay. Hmm. Let's go back and see what I put on this one. Oh. Was that the right one? Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh, that explains it. Let's go back to the Rivoli ones and see what I put on this one. Uh, men's accessories. Mid-century. Okay, that's a good one. Mid-century. Mid-century cuff links and MCM cuff links. There we go. Okay. Autumnal. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be searching for. Autumnal cuff links. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> okay, and I don't, unless it's something really standout-ish, 
I don't put a whole lot for the materials, but I'll put Rivoli on there just for that. Okay, price. What do we want to price these puppies at? Let's go high. What do we find out there? What were these other ones priced at? Let's do a search. I, I, I felt like 25 was too small for my other ones. So let's just search on Etsy. Let's just do an Etsy search. I don't necessarily, I'll look on eBay sold, but I don't always go off of that because I sometimes think things sell for too small. Rivoli cupcakes. Let's do that. Let's just search. And I'm seeing, hang on, let me scooch it so you can see more. Oh, it's grabbing the wrong one again. I am scooching this over to show more. Or trying to, just making it bigger, apparently. I want to see more. There we go. You think 65 bucks? We can just throw a crazy number at it, right? Uh, really, look at these ones. 255, woo! So I see 20, I see 55. This has got teeny ones that are like 46. Here's some red ones. Senator, 29. Those are cool. Um, ba -da -ba -dum. 92 for these Dante ones. It's got the same color as mine. So we might do, like here, 18. Okay. I'm going to go higher. Mine are, mine are wraparound too, so. They're all over the place. So it's just like, name your price. Because basically what's going to happen is that's going to be the one. TK, right? Big, uh, people, when they're looking for something, they're going to be looking for a specific style. And, and now that I'm seeing some squares in here, I need to go add round in my title because I see square, I see different shapes. Because somebody might be looking for specifically round, red, rivoli, wrap around. I'm going to do that. Let's go with $64.99. How about that? Or $62.99. Scientific, right? Six, let's do let's do $64.99. $64.99. Let's go back and make sure we have round up here. Swank. Round. And now I've got too, too many. Pull it back. Mims. I'm going to just take out some commas. Okay. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Quantity one, add variations. Okay, so here's where my shipping comes in. I have these already um, pre-calculated because I know like these are going to probably go in a six by four by four box. I'm not going to put these in a padded envelope because they've got stones that might pop out if they're not mishandled or whatever, or if a box is thrown on them. So they'll go in a six by four by four, but they're probably going to weigh like three ounces or something like that in that box. So it's Within the U.S., it's going to cost about four bucks, right? And then with this, like, I have this setting set up to Canada and to everywhere else. And this is why um, with this saved setting, I have in my listing, if you're in, you know, international, message me for more specific shipping rates. So that way they're not spending 28 bucks and it might actually only cost 20 bucks or whatever. To get it to them so that's something that's just I have already set up and then my processing time and all that's in there so I have all these other ones set up which I rarely use and I don't do this um, you have the option of having your preset ones I just do four bucks even though it might end up being like three dollars and seventy five cents um, but you can if you have time which I don't weigh it out and know like weigh the box and weigh all the stuff and know what box the length and width and height and everything and then it calculates the shipping for you which i just don't have time for that so so total price paid if they want it blah blah, blah. there's that okay so here we go i got this thing down here which is blocking my view publish is what i want to do and now my listing is active. Let's go check it out in my store. And there it is. Um, so, where do I get my boxes? I, I'm sure. Is Robert got gets his is half price boxes? I I get um I use six by four by fours. I've gotten them from Uline, but the shipping from Uline is crazy. I've gotten some from Amazon. But then I use my eBay boxes. I have never had a complaint. Um, 
from somebody. I don't think I have an eBay box hanging out here. But like I use my eBay shipping coupon on 6x4x4 by four by four boxes. And I say eBay on them. I try not to use the eBay tape too. Um, but I've seen people, I haven't done this, but I've seen people, was it you, Heather? I can't remember. Say that they write on the box that says eBay, you know, I also sell on eBay, right? Or get a sticker that says I also sell on and stick it on there, eBay. Um, so yeah, I use my eBay boxes because, oh, there's one over there. I mean, it's not, let me grab one, I'll show you. It's not like crazy, like eBay crazy. It's just, it's understated, sort of. Um, it's understated on all the sides of the box. So yeah, yeah, you know, I use that. Okay. So, I think we did it. Now, what I'll do is um, basically just go create a listing on eBay, copy and paste everything over, and just shorten my title out. And then it's good to go. It's good to go. So, if you have any questions, or if I went too fast, uh, let me know. And I'm, I'm probably going to do some more videos like this because I think they will be helpful. I get a lot of questions about listing on Etsy and researching stuff. So let me know if you found this helpful, and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a good evening, and yeah. Okay, talk to you later. Bye, guys.